This is a result that we'll use a lot um, when we um, analyze um, vector valued functions. And so I wanted to um, show you where this comes from. It says that if the length of a vector is constant, then the vector is always orthogonal to its derivative. In other words, the dot product of the vector with its derivative, the vector valued function with its derivative, um, is going to be equal to zero. So, okay, let's see, where does this come from? Well, um, remember that you can find the length of a vector. If you dot a vector with itself, that gives you the length of the vector, the length of the vector squared, right? So if that's equal to a constant, then we know that if you take the derivative with respect to t of this dot product, since that dot product is um, some constant, we know the derivative turns out to be 0. But what is the derivative of the dot product of two vectors? Well, let's say, or the dot product of the vector with itself, let's say we have this vector valued function. Let's think about its components, x, y, and z. And then r dot r would be x of t squared plus y of t squared plus z of t squared. So that's what r dot r is, right? You just multiply each component by itself. So if we take the derivative with respect to t of r dotted with r, we're going to get uh, the derivative of this, which would be 2x times dx dt plus 2y times dy dt plus 2z times dz dt. Okay, but that is really just 2 times um, the vector um, x, y, z dotted with x prime, y prime, um, z prime, or dx dt, dy dt, dz dt, which is 2 times r of t dotted with r prime of t. Ah, so, but we know that the derivative, um, we know the derivative of r dot r is supposed to turn out to be zero, and so we have these two ideas. And if you divide both sides, we know the derivative is supposed to turn out to be zero, but it is two times r times r prime. So if you divide both sides by two, you get that r dotted with r prime is zero. In other words, if a function's uh, length does not change, so if the length of a, of a vector, sorry, does not change, then it is going to be orthogonal to its derivative. In other words, the dot product of the vector valued function with its derivative is going to always be zero. That will just come up a lot, so it was worth discussing.